Hey Curious, many of us still can't get over the fact that our favorite reality show, Keeping Up With The Kardashians, is over, and probably are asking ourselves the same question, so what now? I'm sure many of us are wondering what show will be able to fill the void that we created after the final episode airs. Well, it seems that at least as far as the youngest in the family are concerned, there are already those who are competing with the Kardashian-Jenner babies. And if you don't believe me, ask Cardi B, who with her little culture seems to be on the way to becoming the direct rival, if you will, of Kylie Jenner and the adorable Stormy. And the fact is that mommy and daddy's problems, as they should be, have been put aside and both the singer and her daughter's father, the rapper Offset, are living in luxury gifts and countless other things that are there to pamper their princess. But before I tell you about this new little rival, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on these notifications. It was only in May of this chaotic year that we told you how the ghosts of Offset's past were reappearing to play their part in the life of the, uh, until then, happy couple made up of him and Cardi B. The fact is that Shia, a mother of one of his babies, decided to make their flirtations and the rapper's reprehensible behavior behind Cardi's back public. It all started when he allegedly refused to pay alimony to Kayla, a five-year-old girl the rapper has with her. At the time, in an act that seemed exemplary, Cardi B took to her husband's side in the face of the accusations and came out in his defense. She and Offset were together, or are, I don't know, for three years? Although, with all the trauma and the comings and goings between proven infidelities and others that have simply remained as rumors, it seems that they are already about to celebrate their golden anniversary. But no, only three years and a little much more, in which, despite everything, they managed to form a lovely family of three, Cardi Offset and the adorable Culture, who on July 10th celebrated her second birthday. However, Culture is not the only daughter of the rapper because with his former partner, the aforementioned Shia, he also has the also-mentioned Kayla, five-year-old girl, the little Cody, of the same age, whom he had with his former girlfriends, Oriel Jamie, and Jordan, who is 10 years years old as a result of a relationship with a woman named Justine Watson. Wow, a real stud. And he still hasn't even reached the first 30 years of his life. But the rapper has been sued not once but at least a couple of times for the lack of support. In October of last year, she has summoned him to court and sued him seeking to increase the monthly support for her daughter Kayla. The lawsuit included the DNA test that proved Offset was the biological father of the child. But I did just tell you that it wasn't just once because the mother of his firstborn Jordan did the same. And that's precisely how the world found out that the rapper had a son. And according to The Blast, Justine had stated that the rapper gave her a little financial help from time to time, more or less. On top of that, he rarely contributed to medical expenses, educational needs, and extracurricular activities. Her intention was to obtain retroactive support and $15,000 to cover the attorney's fees, to which Offset apparently responded by requesting joint legal and physical custody. But well, it was not any of them that I wanted to talk to you about, but the one that many say is already competing with little Stormy Webster. That's right, I'm talking about Culture, the daughter he had in July of 2018 with Cardi B. After starting a relationship and soon after coming to his defense after the first infidelity rumors in April of 2018, Cardi announced that she was pregnant and said that people were making fun of her and said that she was the fourth mother of an offset baby. However, according to herself, she knew that her baby was not the daughter of a bad man. She didn't count on the fact that, according to what the rapper's ex, Shia, would later say, that good man was asking her to say goodbye. And in the end, Cardi B and her boyfriend welcomed the lovely culture into their life. However, we had all thought that the singer had once again forgiven her lover. It seems that in reality, that was the last straw because some time ago, we found out that the WAP singer had asked for a divorce. When that happened, we also found out in response, Offset demanded full custody of Little Culture, in addition to the equal division of all their marital assets. And just when many of us thought that there was no way Cardi would pass it on to her child's father this time, on October 11th, just one month after all the fuss over the divorce, the singer celebrated her 28th birthday in Sin City, aka Las Vegas, and yes, the ever flirtatious Offset was present to make his ex have an unforgettable night. And believe me, Curious, I'm not exaggerating when I say the celebration was unforgettable for the singer. Not everyone forgets a birthday when he has a Rolls Royce personalized with his name 
name of the daughter they share embroidered on each seat. And this little gift cost no less than $300,000. Man, I'm jealous. All my exes did was block my number. Well, the party was so good that besides the sensual little dances that Cardi did for her supposed ex, a few hours later she got into a tremendous scandal when she shared, also supposedly by mistake, a photo of her generous attributes with nothing to protect them from the sight of the world. And two days later, the singer herself went out to explain in an Instagram live that everything had gotten out of control. And according to her, it was all kind of a joke she wanted to play on her ex, because she wanted to tell him that, well, maybe it's best if I leave this out. However, when the photo was supposed to be only for Offset, and despite the fact that she tried in several ways to prevent it from being published, it ended up leaking, as these things always tend to happen and everyone saw it. What bad luck, right Curious? She who only wanted to thank him for such a gift and look at what it all ended up with. And by the way, since we are mentioning the splendid gift again, it turns out that the luxurious Rolls Royce was also accompanied by a very expensive gift for the spoiled one in the family. But before talking about that particular gift, let me tell you about the other presents and little whims with which they have spoiled little culture even before she came into this world. I say this because ever since the excited and proud mom shared the baby shower photos, we could see that among other things, the unborn culture had been given a Gucci diaper bag, and a Fendi portable changing table worth over a thousand dollars, and a bassinet costing two thousand eight hundred dollars. I mean, I didn't even know that Gucci sold diaper bags. In addition, according to Daily Mail, Cardi spent another seven thousand dollars on a one thousand six hundred dollar Fendi stroller, another stroller, but a Stoke Explory brand, a customized recliner, a Givenchy teddy bear, and a Versace portable changing table. Yes, curious, I know they say kids are expensive, but like sheesh, but I feel like I'm missing something. Well, what could it be? Ah, of course, how could I forget the most important thing, the crib. Well, it turns out that the one in Little Culture's room cost no more and no less than $4,500. And I have only mentioned the things that the singer bought or received before her daughter was even born. The things that she has been gifted with since she opened her eyes to the world are still missing. It is no secret that Cardi B is a lover of jewelry and jewels, and to be fair, which woman isn't? Starting from that premise, she certainly has taken it upon herself to transmit those same tastes to her little girl. And according to India Times, when Culture was only 10 months old, her mommy gave her one bracelet and a pair of diamond earrings on which she spent the modest sum of $80,000. And that's not all. According to the BET website, that wasn't enough to adorn her princess and she decided to give her one little rose gold bracelet with the girl's name engraved on it. And just how much did she spend on it? You know, just $5,900. Pocket change. And to top it all off, uh, with the jewelry, some time ago Cardi posted a video to Instagram where you could see Little Culture wearing a gold chain with a diamond inlay with a market value of $300,000. Just trying to wrap my head around these prices is giving me a headache. And I told you that this would be the end of the jewelry because we have yet to mention the clothes and shoes of the most expensive brands designed exclusively for mommy and daddy's little girl. Just remember the Reebok sneakers that Cardi gave her, identical to hers by the way, for her for his birthday. And according to page 6, the shoes were covered in about 4,500 Swarovski crystals and other precious gems, all handmade. Although the exact amount that she spent on this humble gift is unknown, just so that the first birthday of her treasure didn't go unnoticed, it was probably a few thousand dollars. And well, to close with a flourish, do you remember the also humble present that Offset gave his ex a few days ago as a birthday present? Well, it turns out that, as the good man and exemplar and responsible father that he is, he not only thought of Cardi, but also of his child since inside the Rolls Royce was a baby seat of the same brand as the car, with the name of culture embroidered on the headrest. And how much did the luxurious little chair cost, you might ask? Well, let's quote the buyer of such a gift, who besides revealing the price, also joked about how it would end up in a very short time. His words were as follows. $8,000 car seat, and I bet it has peanut butter and jelly on it in one week. Yes, he said it, not us. But well, I guess Little Culture's smile of joy is worth that much and more. 
So what do you think, Curious? Do you think it is right for parents to give such expensive gifts to children who only really care about playing, jumping, and running? And will the adorable culture take the place of the spoiled little princess Stormy? Let me know in the comments below, and as always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel, and I shall see you guys tomorrow.